Alright, anytime you guys try to locate gas and it's caging like this, can't get in, lock. It's a big meter, meter set. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look in the park lot for a valve. A shut off valve that should feed us gas service. So, if something happens, the fire department could shut it off somewhere out here. So, let's go look for that valve and we'll go try to make a tap to locate the service back off the valve and then locate it out to the gas main. Alright, I find a valve right there. So let's, um, we're gonna secure it with cones around here and see if we can get it back to the building over there. Off this valve here. I got it open, it looks like it's full of water. I'm gonna try to put a rod in here and see if we get any kind of nudity. What I'm doing, I'm putting my lead here so the rod's not touching here and grinding out the rod. I want this rod to be right on the surface without touching any metal. So if it's touching the metal, you're grounding it out and you won't get to locate on the surface. And you can see this is all asphalt. No place to ground out. I mean, I go over here and ground out to over there, but my main runs out this way, so it's senseless to go way out there. So I gotta find another groundy spot. And right here, I got a rod. A rod going into the ground. That should be at least eight feet into the ground. And I'm gonna look up to see if anything's attached to it. If nothing's attached to it, it'll be a good grounding source. And as I can see, just holding it pole up, there's no other utilities coming down a pole. So this will be my good um, good hookup spot to ground out at. So let's see what happens. See, I got an excellent ground, 100%. I don't know if you guys can see it. My voltage, 7.4 voltage, really low. So that's a good ground. Let's do a sweep, see if we can pick it up. So I got a tone, it's not the best tone, but I'm reading 10 milliamps at three feet. But it's not the best tone. But it knows right over my peak. Compass is fairly straight. And it goes all the way down. So this is my service right here, it's markable, I'm marking it. Now, we're trying to find the gas main that this ties into. I get a really good response going towards the gas main. 57, almost 58 milliamps at three feet. 
this is a really good tone. Good tone on the service going to the gas main. Off the valve with a ground rod and I'm grounded out to this guy wire. I'm grounded out to this rod that's holding this pole. Really good tone. Satisfied with this one. So you can see I lost my tone. Do another sweep. Got a good response and it's workable. away 30 36 milliamps so the current on this line is good because I'm reading through I'm picking back up 36 pushing out 100 anytime you try to locate any utility gas anything if you're in a bind and it's surrounded by asphalt just look around like you know I looked around and I saw this ground stake hook onto it got a million hundred milliamps on this machine That's how you get that's how you get the job done. Contractors ain't waiting and you guys can move on to the next job. You know, just a little common sense and knowledge. That's all it takes folks. So this is the right way of doing it folks. You can see I got the job completed. Gas marked out. Contractors happy, I can move on to the next job. Guys, please like and subscribe.